Hello guys, it's Axie and welcome back to the grand finale of the Lich of Zelda Twilight Princess in the previous episode. Why am I so It's the final episode, damn it! I don't need to make a recap like that last episode. We complete the dungeon! That's all. And I don't know why I spoke like that for the last 25 seconds. Uh, whatever. This really has the same feeling as the Ganon's Tower in Ocarina Time. I just completed that pretty, uh, plan pretty, uh, recently. <laughs> and one thing I would like to say all your items, a slingshot, arrows, and even bombs, I'm going to say this they are gonna be useless. It's you're way better if you just do this. Better chance! I'm not even joking here. You can't use any of the other items. You can only use a sword. And the content of your bottles. And I do got the best thing you can get. I don't think I'm gonna use any of them though. It is that tough. Anyway, I'll stop talking and just... Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Gandorf. <laughs> I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Midna. To defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. <laughs> pathetic as they were, though. They served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled ac across the void and awakened me. I drew deeper of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill to be sure, but they lack true power. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Such conceit! But if you're... But if you're one of the chosen wielders of power, as you claim, I'll risk everything to deny you! Shadows have been moving by light, it seems. How amusing! Very well. Deny me then. Yes, try to deny me. You and your little friend. Both of you, faceless fools who would dare to take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. <laughs> so you choose, and so you shall feel my wrath!
Here we have Ganus Puppet Zelda. Yeah, never thought you would actually fight Zelda. Anyway, uh, as Puppet Zelda, uh, he has various moves like the triangle there. If you're inside the triangle, you get hurt a lot. So don't try to do that. Hey, this is the move you actually want to wait for. Uh, just like in the Korean Zion, just shoot it back at him. Actually, that was also his first phase. He will also do this charge thing, which is easy to avoid by just using the sidestep. And direction will work, just stay still after that. What? Ow! Kill you for that! Get your princess. I'll kill you. You just have to hit him a few times with it. Three times, I believe. What? Happy there, princess! By the way, in that fight, uh, you can't really you uh, you can't transform into wolf if you wanted to, because Midnight was thrown aside. <coughs> ah -hoo. Is it fun to be hit by your own magic? Ouch! Shadow was sucked out of it. Well, squeezed out of it. Just pure again. Uh, pure again. But all the shadow merged together again. But so does the twilight and the light too. Sort of. Make that twilight link. Light. Whatever. Forget I said anything there. And this is the birth of. The Dark Beast Ganon. Okay, the thing you have to do here is go into wolf form. And that's right. Uh, it's just moving all the uh, yeah, those things. Press A. And just pick a direction you want to throw him at. And dunk! Now, when he does that, look around until you find. I don't like to throw you at the left, but that's fine. And I'm inside of Ganon. Wow, he has nothing inside. And from from. Oh, there we go. Whoa, that was way too fast. Fast again, dude. Tilt. Uh, I'm taking a ferry this time.
And throw you to this side. Because I can't throw you at the level. I bet I wasn't even holding it correctly. There we go. That's cannon. Well, attack this cannon. <sighs> Done, coffee. And at the last episode, too. Done. He's running. Suffering you have endured. <laughs> Apparently, that wasn't the end again. He's back. Oh, <laughs> 